Good morning, guys! It's not even morning, not even close. Uh, I went up at half past six this morning, uh, half past five this morning, because I had an uh, early doctor's appointment uh, on the other side of town. I've been, I've been crossing all of town all day. <laughs> Uh, and then I had a couple of hours wait where I sat down on a coffee shop, had some breakfast and did some bullet journaling. Then I went on uh, to my second doctor's appointment, which was my uh, neuro, um, the, my previous neuro. The neuro that really kind of concentrates on my migraine and not the combination of the migraine and the SLE. But anyhow... Uh, I got another dose of um, Botox today, so I'm going to be all flat and nice on my forehead again. Uh, and also, you might see the small red dots. Didn't pull that much blood. She said that also that it dis didn't pull that much blood. Again, I think this was 31 spots where she put on Botox. Um, my, sh she told me that. Um, the Botox doesn't use, there's a big chance that it doesn't work the first time. There's uh, a lot of people that doesn't have, that it doesn't work for the first time and therefore you always do a second treatment. I am so lucky, I'm so so lucky and that is because my Botox is actually paid by the state. Uh, if you have migraine disorders you don't have to pay for the Botox treatment or you have to pay for the doctor's appointment but due to m me actually coming up to the um, amount of money that you have, most amount of money you have to pay, my doctor's appointment right now is free. So we ha have all of those. In Sweden, it's, it's good to be in Sweden when you're sick promise you, it's good to live in Sweden when you're sick. Not as good when you work because you pay so much taxes uh, but because we pay so much taxes, we have those opportunities, so yeah. So I have my second Botox treatment, which also means that now when I got on home, I am exhausted. I'm really exhausted. I'm really, really tired. Um, I... Yeah. It's been, like, I've been up since half past five, as I said, and then just going back and forth through town, I actually ended up, because of how the train goes, or the subway goes, I ended up going to a craft store to look for pens. Um, I will be having to source them from abroad, and that will cost me a lot of money. So I have to, I have to Google a little bit more. Uh, I want the Tombow, double brushed Tombows. I think they're, they... They have been a staple. Basically, they were the it thing to color with when my sister started crafting so back in 2008. And they're still going strong. And now with the bullet journaling and the handwriting and, and all of that, they have gotten even higher. And I want a set of Tombows. However, the t a full set of Tombows on Amazon is 130 something dollars but to get them transferred to Sweden cost me 68 dollars so I am going to figure out I'm gonna look at cult pens among things I know that the pen stores and the craft stores in Sweden that I looked at which is Maton, uh, penstore.com and uh, don't think Creatima have it either or Pandora have them. Uh, so they are out. So now I have to look at UK based ones and see if I can find them there or the UK based Amazon because I'm not paying $68 in postage and shipping. Um, also, I looked at both Simon Says Stamp and Ellen Hudson. Uh, Ellen Hudson doesn't have them at all and uh, Simon Says Stamp only have two small packs. I want them all. I want the full pack. So we'll see. It's not something I'm going to buy now, but I wanted to go see if the stores here have had them, because then uh, I might be able to buy a pen or, or a smaller set to begin with. Um, so, yeah. 
and then I went to um, a computer store because uh, as I told you before I'm gonna buy a new computer share and uh, one of the stores that have them and actually sell them for a pretty nice price is media marked marked it's a German store from the beginning but they've been in Sweden for a couple of years now uh, However, the store that is in central Stockholm uh, didn't have that many shares. Have, I know that the one um, a little bit away from here actually have more of the chairs. Also, the ones that were in this store are so worn down. It's hilarious. Um, because I, I need a new share and I know that I tried um, the leather one um there's there's two like big brands ac racing is one of them so it looks like a racing share but they're super comfortable but i know that the leather one is a little bit bigger than the fabric ones and i think it is the fabric ones that i need because um i have a very short space between my back and my knees and usually most shares are made for guys, so they usually have a very big one or they're made for children. I have too small one or no lumbar support at all. So I need to find one that is suited for me. But yeah. Now I talked your ears off. I'm going to get the vlog up because I edited it before I went. And then I'm going to grid the fabric for my little card project because that's basically what I like you for to say. But good morning, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. A quick update. Cold pens actually have them. Uh, the price, however, is 205 pounds. So it's a lot of money, but I think they were $198 on Amazon. So it's not super much more, and I think I can get away with not paying 68 pounds postage there but I'm going to wait now I know where they are now I know where I can buy them actually they don't have them in they're waiting for stock so um, then I can't get them anyhow uh, so that's good I, I always have a lot of like thoughts about what what is the next investment I don't know if you can say that craft supplies are investments, but yeah, what what is the next big thing that I want to spend money on? I always have that in my mind, uh, and it is a very big part of me, but I've been very good lately to not spend all my money. Um, the only real toy I got is the bullet journal and a couple of pens for that, uh, but Sometimes, sometimes you have to. Uh, but not spending like thousands and thousands on on crap supplies like I did before. And that's really, really nice. Really, really nice. Um, it looks good in my wallet because I have a lot more money left over. I can pay, pay off stuff. It's, it's really, really nice. I'm hoping to... But I, I, I want to get better so that I can work more, so I can earn more money, so I can just be the person I want to be. So, yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, yeah, and by the way, I hadn't put, put, pushed the button to uh, uh, do the... Um, I, I edited the video and then I exported. And I hadn't exported it yet. So my computer is right now exporting and then I am going to have to um, restart my computer because I, I think I talked about this before. Certain softwares have a tendency to lock up memory and Photoshop is one of those. Um, this happens much more on a PC than on a Mac, especially if you use Mac's own software. Mac is... That is one of the things I love with Apple, is that if you use their own software, they you they work so good with the uh, operating system. And there's a lot of um, developers who do really really good work with Apple software, 
overall with software that works on an Apple um, machine. But uh, when it comes to Windows, Windows uh, needs to work for a bigger subset of hardware and therefore it's not as streamlined. And a lot of one of the reasons why I rather have a Mac than a PC is that the PC I need to restart every now and then. I had one machine that I had to restart twice a day because the softwares I was using were just uh, locking up the memory and I was sitting there with a lot of memory on my computer but I couldn't utilize it because it was locked up by other processes and even if I closed down my software they were still locked up by because they don't release it properly. It's all, all technical, I know, it's all technical. Uh, but one uh, software that is kind of known to do this even on a Mac is the Photoshop. And Photoshop is the best graphic software over out there to work with photo manipulation, stuff like that. Uh, so basically I need it, need it. I use it on a daily basis when I do my videos and stuff. Um, so I just have to restart the computer after I opened and closed it a couple of times. But yeah, it's night time. It's head. It's head to bed time. Um, I have another doctor's appointment tomorrow, but it's not until um, half past eleven. So uh, I am going to have a, a little bit of a calm morning. However, I think I'm going to try to get up at round six anyhow. I get my pills in me and stuff like that. Um, I've been stitching. Uh, I have shown you bit by bit how um, I have been doing these really adorable. Uh, it, it was a little kit you got in the latest Wollocost Stitching magazine. And... Um, there are small characters from created by Star Jam for Kids. And these are these like watercolored little cute critters uh, that have been turned into cross stitch. So I actually got pretty far. Um, I've been taking pictures as I go. So hopefully I will learn how to make a slideshow of some sort so you can see kind of how it morphs. There should be a morphing tool thingy somewhere so that you can morph it bit by bit by bit. Probably. I will have to look into that. Morphing would be super cool. Uh, but yeah, here's the little birdie so far. Um, it's a little owl. That's the word. A little owl. And then they have a fox and a little reindeer. Um, which I want to. Or a little deer maybe it is. I don't know. And I I have a couple of ideas. Like mounting ideas. Using the cards that came with them. But in a whole other way. And um, doing that on, on my craft channel. Showing how to make cards out of them so that would be would be a lot of fun but yeah um, it's been a slow going day I've been very tired but it's okay it's okay you can get that like the day the day you get Botox you can get a little bit of a slow brain so hopefully I will feel better tomorrow but right now I'm heading to bed so good night sleep tight don't let the bed box bite bye